Uh, today, I have the pleasure to interview Steve McConnell, who is the author of the Code Complete book that came out 30 years ago. Jeffrey, thanks for that nice welcome. And at the risk of uh, doubling down on how long my book has been out, the second edition came out only 19 years ago, so a little bit more recent. What I've seen is that like, with everything going to cloud and uh, much more client and server side, uh, asynchronous has become a lot more important. And so you've naturally seen the languages evolve around that. Yeah, the asynchronous part is interesting. Uh, right after Code Complete, the first edition came out, I went to work on a project and there was a companion project. So bear in mind, this is 30 years ago. And one of the requirements they had was they had to support asynchronous processing. And I think that one requirement 30 years ago easily doubled or tripled the amount of effort on the whole project. One of the humbling dynamics that most of us have experienced at some point in our careers is going over a section of code, having to be really hard to figure out, and in our minds thinking, geez, what? Bozo wrote this, and then realizing, oh, it was me. I wrote it. And uh, I think having that experience a couple times is incredibly valuable. Yeah, I've kind of gotten in trouble for that statement over the years, I think, because it was not my intent ever to say that uh, source code should be the only documentation, but it was my intent to make the observation that for better or worse, a lot of times it does end up being the only documentation. When I was at Microsoft a million years ago, there was a phrase in vogue that was, a bug in the comments is a bug in the code. Right, of course, no matter how complex uh, the tooling gets, it like, doesn't matter if your code is sloppy, like it's still hard to read. Right, the Code that's nested six levels deep, to me, kind of falls into the category of puzzle solving. You know, one thing we've learned over the years is that code lasts a lot longer than people think it's going to. And the more you tax people's brains by setting up situations where they have to figure something out, the more likely it is at some point, somebody's not gonna quite figure it out. You want your managers to be good at their jobs, whatever their jobs are. I don't know that this is the greatest idea, but most organizations tend to promote their better technical people or best technical people into human management positions. And you know, we have joked literally for decades that a lot of organizations hurt themselves in two different ways. They deprive themselves of a really valuable technical resources and they give themselves an untrained uh, managed people manager who's just not really ready. Subscribe to the GoTo YouTube channel now and join the experts in person or online at any upcoming GoTo conference using the promo code BOOKCLUB. Visit gotopia.tech to learn more.